Hey guys, Tim Pokemon here, and in today's video, we are talking about if Kartana and Celesteela are usable in Pokemon Go. Now, these two Pokemon have just released worldwide, and one is in the Northern Hemisphere and one is in the Southern Hemisphere, but are they any good? That's what we're trying to find out today, and we're going to talk about both of them. Kartana here on the left is a Steel and Grass type. And then on the right here is Celesteela. It is a steel and flying type. Now we're going to talk about if they're any good in raids, in PvP, and all that. But let's quickly go ahead and go into this. We got the grass type attackers here. And you don't see Kartana's name. And that's because it's not in the system yet. But you got comparisons here that we're going to make. We got Mega Sceptile, Shadow Venusaur, and some other Pokemon here with Mega Venusaur and all that. But you can see the DPS, you can see the TDO. And let's go ahead and look at Kartana. Now, Kartana is a pretty frail Pokemon, but it maxes out at 4,156 CP, but it has an attack stat of 323. Yes, that is a super high attack stat. That is, I believe, top 6 in Pokemon Go, maybe even top 5, but I know for sure it's top 10 in Pokemon Go. Very, very high. Um, let's actually... Let's quickly just look this up. Mewtwo. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I know that this is not planned. Mewtwo here. We'll just go for normal Mewtwo. Has an attack stat of 300. So to give you perspective, it has a higher attack stat than Mewtwo. So quick keyword, Mewtwo. It found its way to get a keyword in this video. I don't know how. But yeah, Kartana, Kartana here, though, is vulnerable to fighting types and fire types. It is quad weak to fire, which is a bit unfortunate but we can move around that and let's look at his best move sets here we can just go to moves here and it's got an 18.11 dps times cd dps sorry um with razor leaf and leaf blade and as you can see here by the dps spreadsheet that would put it above shadow venusaur and is it good in terms of the long run because it's pretty frail what about its total damage it's got a higher total damage output stat than Shadow Venusaur as well. And that's because Shadow Venusaur obviously buffs its attack while lowering its HP. So it's actually going to be the number one non-Mega Grass type in all of Pokemon Go, which is pretty insane. It's got a higher DPS stat than Mega Venusaur, but it's got a lower TDO stat. And then Mega Sceptile beats it in both of those. When that comes to the game, we don't know. But it's looking like, uh, sorry, I almost said Celesteela. Kartana is going to be one of the better grass types in Pokemon Go, which is awesome to see. Now let's look at PvP. We'll look at the Ultra, Ultra League first because it's too big for the Great League and it's not good. So quick keyword Ultra League. It's not good in the Ultra League, 348. But in the Master League, it has some play with 140 rank um, with XL Candies, which is not bad at all. But... I also wanted to show you guys this real quick, um, the DPS, just the exact comparison here, um, that total, total damage output, although um, its total damage output looks smaller, when you times it by the DPS that it's doing, it's actually doing a total of more damage than Shadow Venusaur, just so you know. But Kartana, again, very strong, and it's actually going to be a very good PvE Pokemon, player versus environment. So your... Um, your just your everyday uh, encounters with stuff like Shadow Squirtle with Sierra. That's gonna be this might be your new best option because it's got a quick move with Leaf Blade, and it's pretty strong, pretty hard hitting. So honestly, it could be a great Pokemon for that. And also, you're just normal grunts, um, the Water type grunts, and all that. So honestly, it could be very, very good with that. Now. Let's talk about Celesteela. Quick keyword, Celesteela, because it's not getting any of the limelight. It's a steel flying type, and it maxes out at 3,577 CP, pretty low, but it's got all-around stats. 207 attack, 199 defense, and 219 um, stamina, which seems like it's setting itself up for PvP. It's also only got two weaknesses with an electric and fire type weakness, which is pretty interesting. Now, the problem is you can see its best moveset has it at 11.24 DPS. And its TDO, although it is in the 500s, it's just not good enough because it doesn't get the right moves, at least yet. And unfortunately, not that good in raids. But let's talk about it for PvP. 
Now let's go to the, the Ultra League first. Um, we got the Ultra League here um, where Cartana, again, did not rank well. Uh, Celestila, um, sorry, it's taking forever to type. Um, hello? Okay, there we go. Celestila, 201st in the Ultra League. So not that good in the Ultra League. And in the Master League, it is 113th. Right in front of Celebi, actually, which is pretty funny. Quick keyword, Celebi. And again, how did that Pokemon get a keyword in this video? Hey, I don't know, man. But yeah, Celesteela is PvP definitely focused, but it might not be that good, unfortunately. I feel like Kartana is definitely more worth your time. And unfortunately, Northern Hemisphere has the advantage there with Northern Hemisphere, which luckily I am in gets the advantage where we're going to get Kartana and you guys are going to get Celesteela in the Southern Hemisphere, but they're still both pretty useful Pokemon, but definitely, definitely, I would say focus more on Kartana than Celesteela, unfortunately, for um, those Celesteela fans. Honestly, both pretty good Pokemon. Excited for both of them. It should be a lot of fun. Um, just new Ultra Beasts in general, and talking about these trailers, um, well, I didn't say anything about them, but there was trailers. They've been doing this for all the Ultra Beasts, and Guzzlord which we all know is confirmed by the loading screen, by the leaks, everything. But it was in the trailer. It's literally coming very, very soon. So we should see that one soon. And unfortunately, both of these can't be shiny, but that's okay. You know, it happens. Pokemon get released non-shiny. Unfortunately, though, they are in raids for two weeks, which is a pretty long time to not have a shiny raid boss. But I'm going to try to get as many free raid passes into Kartana as I can because it is... Again, a good grass type attacker and a very good player versus environment thing. So quick keyword team rocket. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully this was useful. Make sure to leave a like. And I'll leave you with one last keyword is going to be phone because my phone's just sitting here. Um, but yeah, hopefully again you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.